It's Rob Nelson here with your weekly Untamed Science video. Now, it's tornado season. Turns out Haley and I actually experienced an F0 tornado by accident. It was kind of scary. Mostly for Haley, but I said a lot of cuss words too. Get out, 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 get That was it. You know, right? That was it. That we were just, we ran through it. I want to talk about how you classify tornadoes. Why is it that you would even want to know about the scale of a tornado? All clouds for me, we're going to get a tornado. It's not all that accurate to say it was a big tornado, or it looked like this, or it looked like this. So, back in the 1970s, this guy named Fujita came out with a scale. Man, I have this great scale. Called the Fujita scale. And it's been adopted worldwide, so that's what everybody uses nowadays. That scale classifies tornadoes from an F0 all the way up to an F5. The Fujita scale is a determinant of what damage is actually caused, and that correlates to the wind speed. But wind speed isn't actually what determines the Fujita scale, it's damage. So let's go through from an F0 to an F5 and see what damage is actually occurring at each individual type of tornado along that scale. First, the F0. Some damage to chimneys, it breaks off branches of trees, pushes over shallow rooted trees. On an F1 tornado, it peels the surface off of roofs, um, mobile homes are pushed off their foundations and overturned, moving automobiles are pushed off the roads. Now an F2 tornado is a significant tornado. Roofs are torn off of framed houses, mobile homes are demolished, box cars can be pushed over, large trees are snapped or rooted. Now an F3 tornado is a severe tornado. The roof and some walls are torn off of well constructed houses, trains are overturned and most trees in the forest are uprooted. Now an F4 tornado is a devastating tornado. Well constructed houses are absolutely leveled. Cars are thrown and large missiles are generated. Now an F5 is an incredible tornado. They're also not all that common. Really strong framed houses are lifted off of their foundation carried considerable distances, and then they disintegrate. Automobile-sized missiles fly through the air in excess of 100 meters. Trees are debarked. Now the tornado in Joplin, Missouri was an F5. And 160 people died, which is a lot of people. Mr. Fujita actually put in one more onto the scale, an F6. Now an F6 is actually called an inconceivable tornado because of the wind speeds are so high that it'll probably never happen. I can't even think of the damage that would happen from an F6 tornado but we've never had one, so we don't know. So remember, tornadoes are not classified by the wind speed. Tornadoes are actually classified by the damage that occurs. Remember, subscribe to our videos on YouTube, friend us on Facebook, and follow our updates on Twitter.